uh, I had the word story come, come through my mind. Uh, what I find is often talked about, or the point that we get to, is that the person is story. And what people, I find, tend to struggle with is we are born into a particular story. Uh, we're born into a particular family, a particular uh, religion, if that's the case, a particular educational system, a particular culture, and then we spend the rest of our lives trying to figure it out. And what I've found is the best way to figure it out is through connection with others. And um, so when I think of the theme, the discovery of self uh, with others or even through others, uh, what comes to mind is the figuring out that happens along the way. I think till the day we die. Gosh, for me, I often say to people that appreciative inquiry uh, is the bridge between uh, either an idea or a way of being or a perceived way of being and then bringing that to life in the world. And that's been my experience, not just in, in business or with organisations, um, but also in therapy with clients, which is all about relationship. The relationship is the therapy. Um, and in relationships in, in my life. Um, I think the best way I can answer that is to say that what I embrace most about appreciative inquiry, um, well, actually two things. Firstly, that that appreciative inquiry says what we focus on becomes our reality. I love I love that saying because it's it's completely true. That's one. The other thing that I've embraced um, to the point of um, exaltation comes to mind <laughs> are the five core principles of appreciative inquiry because they speak to me in terms of what, what makes a good relationship. The unique questions begin to emerge from the five core principles. When you have a conversation around um, what does the relationship look like? What's the vision of it for you? Uh, what's the story? Uh, what's the backstory and, and what's the beyond story? I've recently learned about beyond stories. So um, how those five core principles contribute to a healthy relationship and a, um, a developing relationship um, is really powerful. So when I think of the word wholeness, it's, it's, the, it's the emergence of the, the power, the validity, the strength, um, the truth of the five core principles. I like the idea of the inner child because the inner child has no time for the nonsense of the outside world, which only serves to distract us away from the wisdom of the inner child. When we embrace the wisdom of the inner child, what we're really doing um, is going back to what I like to call appreciative beginnings. And appreciative beginnings are those moments in our childhood and, and maybe early adulthood where we feel, we feel a sense of bliss with, with where we are at that point in time. For me, the inner child is, is, is wise. It's wise because it's playful. nothing to fear, you know? Um, allow the life you live to quench your dreams. <laughs>